Welcome, and thank you for joining me as we start exploring the seven rays of life, also known as the seven esoteric rays. Now this is the video where I introduce the system and provide an overview. To start off with, the two books that I will be using in this series of videos are The Seven Rays of Life Compiled from the Writings of Alice Bailey and The Seven Rays by Ernest Wood. Now the material when reading it is a bit tedious, the writing is a bit dated. As always, I'm translating this perspective into something more modern and easy for everyone to understand. Alice Bailey channeled this information from a being known as the Tibetan. Ernest Woods conveys the information through the lens of Hindu te teachings and is based on Madame Blavatsky's work. He relates the rays as being seven different types of humans. Madame Blavatsky was the first to mention the seven esoteric rays. It's important to know that this concept originated with her. Then Alice Bailey, a student of Blavatsky, elaborated on the material through channeling the Tibetan. Now each ray is assigned a planet and a color. I will be basing the visuals and the videos on the colors and planets. The way that it works is that the, these are seven forces in the cosmos through which everything in physical material reality is created. According to Bailey, the first three rays are aspects. Those aspects are associated with the classic three aspects that we know in alchemy as the three essentials, body, soul, and spirit. According to Bailey, it is through these three aspects that all things are created. Those three rays are the ray of will or power, the ray of love, wisdom, and the ray of activity or adaptability, sometimes also known as the act of intelligence. These three rays relate to body, soul, and spirit. While not overtly said, this implies 1. The ray of will or power is associated with the body. 2. The ray of love, wisdom is associated with the soul. 3. The ray of activity or adaptability is associated with the spirit. Now these are the four rays or of attributes. These four attributes elaborate on the first three, creating even more diversity to life. These four attributes are four, the harmony, beauty, or art, five, concrete knowledge or science, six, abstract idealism, and seven, ceremonial magic. In turn, as each of the rays has all seven rays in them, it breaks down to 49 types. Ernest Wood explains that while each person has all seven rays within them, only one is the leader of the seven. So it's good to learn about all seven, but it's important, according to Wood, to know which one we belong to because the object is to live rationally instead of blundering, to come into harmonious relations with the things and beings of the world and one's own proper path of being. Page 11. Now, some say that your ray can be determined by taking a personality test online. However, Alice Bailey provides a list correlating the seven rays to the classic astrological signs. That is the list I go by. Now, if you're like me and know your sun, rising, and moon signs, I would say go with the ray that is assigned to your rising sign as your primary ray. The other two would also be important as well, but the rising sign would be the primary as that is supposed to be your authentic being. This is according to the orthodox astrological relationship and connection with ordinary man table in Bailey's book, The Seven Rays of Life. Here are the rays with the zodiac signs. <clears throat> Aries, sixth ray, abstract idealism. Taurus, fifth ray, concrete knowledge or science. Gemini, fourth ray, harmony, beauty or art. Cancer, fourth ray, harmony, beauty or art. Leo, second ray, love or wisdom. Virgo, fourth ray, harmony, beauty or art. Libra, fifth ray, concrete knowledge or science. Scorpio, sixth ray, abstract idealism. Sagittarius, second ray, love or wisdom. Capricorn, third ray, adaptability or active intelligence. Aquarius, seventh ray, ceremonial magic. Pisces, second ray, love or wisdom. You will notice that the first ray isn't mentioned in this list. That is because the first ray is associated with the hypothetical planet of Vulcan that exists in ancient lore and is supposed to be closer to the sun than Mercury. In her book, Bailey says that the first ray hasn't completely come into creation yet. Now this corresponds to the Kabbalistic idea that the crater is not directly involved consciously with physical materiality but exists outside of it. So there you have it. That is the seven esoteric rays and how to determine which ray is yours. I know this may seem a bit brief and this is a very complex subject, but that's exactly why we're going to go through each ray individually in separate videos. As we travel through and examine the seven esoteric rays, we will associate them with planets, a color, and chakras. That way you can see to which level of your being the ray belongs. 
Well, if you find the seven esoteric rays as interesting as I do, I hope you will like this video and subscribe to my channel for the upcoming videos on each of the rays. These videos will be coming out once a month. That way, I have time to work on them and make the videos as detailed as I want. I'm a busy housewife, and I make these videos during my rare free time. So thank you for joining me, and bye for now.